Hey everybody, see less of me, 22 here. Um, let's see, uh, sorry I missed my uh, Thursday update. I haven't made a Thursday update, I think, since surgery. But I actually, I had an appointment with my surgeon's office today, so I figured, actually I did make about three videos, but I'm just going to lump it all together um, in this video. Um, since some of it was redundant now that I've seen my surgeon. But, um, let's see, I guess let me start with the numbers. Um, my highest weight is 311. My surgery weight is 296. Um, three weeks out, um, yesterday I was three weeks out, I weighed myself and I was 280. So that's uh, 16 since surgery and 31 from my highest weight which is exciting um you know my my truly excited excited point will be when i make when i get to 260 because i haven't been 260 in a very long time and i been on diets before and i get to 270 something and then go right back the other way but um once i get into the 260s i probably want to pinch myself but um so that's a three pound loss from last week um, and next, I guess I want to say, uh, give a shout out to my, uh, new subscribers and thank you all for joining me. Excuse me. I have, uh, Jennifer Hammond, 88, loved and blessed one, a blessed lady, Grace Hope Faith, Miss Diva Dimples, Bahan Queen 70, Ozzy Perone, Sarf 2, Time For Me Lap Band, DLP 5th. Trini Les for you to love. I Y M what I Y M. I think the Lady of Beauty, CC Banded, Sharice Linton, Cookie Jug One, a True Black Queen, Love Me Naturally, Jessica Denise three o seven, Miss Queen Miss Queen Nicole thirty three, and Peace and Nana Weight Loss eleven. Thank you all so much for joining me on my journey. Um, and thanks everyone for all your comments, support, and enthusiasm for my journey. It really uh, it really makes this fun to get on here and talk. Um, and also, I'm happy to say that I have over 200 subscribers, which is exciting. Um, so thank you all again. I don't want to make this video long, but I really don't know how um, I'm not going to be able to do that. I really have a couple of things that I wanted to talk about. First thing was I went back to work this week, Monday. Um, I guess I can keep this part short. I did okay. Um, the first day that I got back, I realized that um, I wasn't paying attention to my fluids. It's very easy to start, you know, typing. I have a desk job. Um, I do um, writing and graphics um, for my job. So it's very easy to start typing or start designing something and you know I'm using my hands the whole time so I'm not thinking about sipping. So by the end of the day I realized I had only drank half of a water bottle, 16 ounce bottle, about 8 ounces of crystal light. I did. I do usually have hot tea first thing in the morning to kind of rejuvenate my fluids. So, um, but 16 ounces, and I had my protein shake. But still, I just I had intended to um, take in more fluid than that. So, I've since got that under control. I'm paying more attention and trying to finish one water bottle um, while I'm at work, and then fill it up before I leave to go home, and then continue sipping on my way home. But um, another thing is that I had to switch out my um, office chair because my the one I have had me sitting straight up and down and that kind of hurts my side. So I switched um, my chair with somebody else's that had a recline on theirs a little bit. So other than that, I've been fine, not tired or anything. I bought a whole bunch of things to um, have it work for whenever I need it. Um, and... Uh, so I've been fine with that. Um, next thing I want to talk about was some of the protein um, things that I've been trying that have worked out for me and are pretty good um, in protein. So I want to just let you all know a few of the things. Um, first thing, hot tea I have every morning and then sometimes in the evenings. Um, really every evening I have at least one cup of hot tea. But I add like a quarter cup of uh lactate fat free milk it's two grams of uh, protein you know 
it's you know it adds up between like the three or four cups of tea I have a day it's about eight grams of uh, protein so you know it's just a little boost um also I have um, usually for breakfast I have a Greek yogurt and I mix protein in it um, about a quarter pack of the protein um, so the um, Greek yogurt has like seven you put like five from the injury um, unflavored put some Splenda in it mix it up that's 12 grams of protein for breakfast I've since found um, since I like the strawberry kiwi I found a uh, a list of recipes for different things that you can do with the strawberry kiwi um, nectar protein and one of the things that is suggested was to add a scoop of the protein um, the strawberry kiwi protein to yogurt so I added mine to Greek yogurt there's 23 grams in um, the protein uh, one container of the Greek yogurt was 15 so mix that together that's 38 and then if I eat half in different days and that's 19 grams and it it makes it pretty sweet um I actually added some Splenda I probably didn't need to do that because I had that this morning and it was really kind of sweet but it tastes it tasted really good so um you know like I said that's 19 grams of protein for breakfast that's a big boost and I'm not a real breakfasty person like I'm not making pancakes and stuff when I go to work so a little thing of yogurt while I'm sitting at my desk is is great and that's 19 grams um, another thing that I got was like the little polio string cheese things, reduced fat. Um, they're 8 grams of protein. That's like a little snack after breakfast. Um, you know, while I'm sitting at work, I'll have a uh, string cheese. Like I said, that's 8 grams. Um, and you know, I've been adding uh, the protein to my soups. Um, as far as they say that it clumps and stuff, I've kind of tried my hand at heating it up because I can't stand lukewarm soup. And it hasn't really, if you, I guess if you keep stirring it, it's been okay for me. Um, another thing that, another recipe that I found on the thing about the strawberry kiwi is if you make it with milk, um, it's like strawberry milk. It tastes kind of really sweet, it's not that it was bad or nasty, it was really kind of too sweet for me. So, but it was a good idea. I love strawberry milk. I was really going to be excited about that. But, um, I ordered some other of the, uh, nectar ones and I'm kind of excited to try chocolate milk. I think that'll be, hopefully that one will work out a little bit better. But what I did was I used half water, half milk, and then put the, um, uh, strawberry kiwi, um, protein in it. Again, that's 23 grams with the scoop of protein and then, um, four um, since it's half uh, half a serving of the milk for so that's 27 grams those are some big numbers you know and they taste fairly good the stuff that I tried that was blended it just it's too frothy it just really foams up and it just bothers me that I have to take time to let it sit and everything else so just mixing the things up in the uh, blender bottle and you still have to let it sit but that's more like five minutes or something like that versus the blender is just really too thick um, I think that's all I'm going to say for this one. I'm going to break up the video so they're not so long and uh, tiresome. So this one will be about the uh, back to work and protein suggestions. I have a bit of a, a story to tell in my next video. So I guess if you're interested, uh, tune in. All right. Take it easy.